So you have a 10% hydrochloric acid solution and a 60% hydrochloric acid solution, right? So how much of each should you mix together to form 100 milliliters of a 25% solution? Okay, so it should make sense. You've got a stronger solution and a weaker solution. You're trying to end up with something that's kind of in between, right? And you're trying to figure out how much of each you want to combine. Well, let's make a chart here. So what I have is the percentage, which in this case, let's just say you've got your 10% solution, right? Times X milliliters. And when you multiply those together, what that gives you is it gives you the amount of pure hydrochloric acid. Okay, so 0.10x. The rest of it's going to be water, right? Okay, and then the 60% solution, you've got 0 0.60 times y milliliters, right? And that's going to give you the amount of pure hydrochloric acid, okay, the number of milliliters of pure hydrochloric acid uh, in the 60% solution. And then we're going for a 25% solution, okay, and we want it to be a total of 100 milliliters, which when you multiply the percentage times the number of milliliters, that's going to give you 25 milliliters of pure hydrochloric acid, okay. So what we have here is we have a two equations. When you have two variables, see x and y, you need two equations to solve it. So one equation is the amount. So we have x milliliters of the 10% solution plus y milliliters of the 60% uh, solution adds up to a total of 100 milliliters. So we have x plus y equals 100. Okay, so that's our quantity. Now, here we're looking at the amount of pure hydrochloric acid. So we have 0.10x pure hydrochloric acid from the 10% solution plus 0 0.60 times y uh, that's pure hydrochloric acid that's coming from the 60% solution, and we want that to equal 25 milliliters of pure hydrochloric acid. So now we've got our two equations, we've got our system, we can solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply this equation by 100, just to, uh, actually I'll multiply it by 10, just to clear the decimal. So if we multiply by 10, that moves the decimal one place to the right, okay? So that's going to make this uh, 1x plus 6y equals 250. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this equation down here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. So if we multiply it by negative 1, this is going to make this a negative x minus y equals negative 100. So that when we add these equations together, you can see the x's are going to cancel out because 1x and negative 1x. This gives us 5y and this equals 150. So if we divide both sides by 5, you can see that y is going to equal 30 milliliters. So we're going to have 30 milliliters of the 60% solution. If we put that back in here, you can see x plus 30 equals 100. So if you subtract 30 from both sides, you can see that x is going to equal 70 milliliters. And so you've got it. So basically the chart kind of helps you to you know, organize your data and then when you go to solve for your variables, you know what you solve for. You said, okay, x is my 10% solution. I need 70 milliliters of the 10% solution. y is my 60% solution. I need 30 milliliters of that. And then if we combine these together, we're going to get um, 25 milliliters of pure hydrochloric acid, making this a 25% solution. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with these uh, mixture problems a little bit better. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.